If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Thank you for the cross, his and ours. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Thank you for the cross, his and ours. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Thank you for the cross, his and ours. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. Thank you for the cross, his and ours. Matthew 10, 21, brother will deliver up brother to death and father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death and they will be hated by all for my name's sake. The one who endures to the end will be saved. Matthew 10, 21, brother will deliver up brother to death and father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death and they will be hated by all for my name's sake. The one who endures to the end will be saved. Matthew 10, 21, brother will deliver up brother to death and father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death and they will be hated by all for my name's sake. The one who endures to the end will be saved. Matthew 10, 21, brother will deliver up brother to death and father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death and they will be hated by all for my name's sake. The one who endures to the end will be saved. John 16, 1, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. Every radical Muslim believes that when he kills a Christian. John 16, 1, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. Every radical Muslim believes that when he kills a Christian. John 16, 1, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. Every radical Muslim believes that when he kills a Christian. John 16, 1, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. Every radical Muslim believes that when he kills a Christian. 2 Timothy 1, 8, therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel, for the power of God. 2 Timothy 1.8 Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel, for the power of God. 2 Timothy 1.8 Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel, for the power of God. 2 Timothy 1.8 Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel, for the power of God. The purpose of God in creating the universe is to display the greatness of the glory of His grace supremely in the suffering of His Son. That's yesterday. The purpose of God in creating the universe is to display the greatness of the glory of His grace supremely in the suffering of his son that's yesterday the purpose of God in creating the universe is to display the greatness of the glory of his grace supremely 
in the suffering of his son. That's yesterday. The purpose of God in creating the universe is to display the greatness of the glory of his grace supremely in the suffering of his son. That's yesterday. Today, the summons, will you join the son in displaying the supreme satisfaction of the glory of grace in joining him on the Calvary road of suffering. Today, the summons, will you join the Son in displaying the supreme satisfaction of the glory of grace in joining him on the Calvary road of suffering. Today, the summons, will you join the Son in displaying the supreme satisfaction of the glory of grace in joining him on the Calvary road of suffering? Today, the summons, will you join the Son in displaying the supreme satisfaction of the glory of grace in joining him on the Calvary road of suffering because there's no other way the world is going to see the supreme glory of Christ because there's no other way the world is going to see the supreme glory of Christ because there's no other way the world is going to see the supreme glory of Christ because there's no other way the world is going to see the supreme glory of Christ today except that we break free from the Disneyland of America and begin to live lifestyles of missionary sacrifice that looks to the world like our treasure is in heaven and not on the earth. It's the only way today except that we break free from the Disneyland of America and begin to live lifestyles of missionary sacrifice that looks to the world like our treasure is in heaven and not on the earth. It's the only way today except that we break free from the Disneyland of America and begin to live lifestyles of missionary sacrifice that looks to the world like our treasure is in heaven and not on the earth. It's the only way today except that we break free from the Disneyland of America and begin to live lifestyles of missionary sacrifice that looks to the world like our treasure is in heaven and not on the earth. It's the only way. The prosperity gospel will not make anybody praise Jesus. It will make people praise prosperity. Of course I'll have a Jesus who'll give me a car the prosperity gospel will not make anybody praise Jesus. It will make people praise prosperity. Of course I'll have a Jesus who'll give me a car. The prosperity gospel will not make anybody praise Jesus. It will make people praise prosperity. Of course I'll have a Jesus who'll give me a car. The prosperity gospel will not make anybody praise Jesus. It will make people praise prosperity. Of course I'll have a Jesus who'll give me a car.